All right, so which blonde dude should you pick? In this video is just going to be comparing the two sustains we have in the current patch. Aventurine and Lucha. Um, we're just going to be comparing them both as sustains. We're going to see where they excel both and which of them should you pick depending on which characters you have. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, before we start though, let me give you a brief introduction to both of them in case you don't know what they do. I think most people know, but just in case you don't. So Lucha is going to be an abundance imaginary character. He's going to be able to give you big heals. He can heal you from his skill automatically without you needing to do anything. So he can just use his skill on a random character, um, the character who has like less HP every two turns. So you don't need to really do anything to get heals from Lucha. You're just going to do it automatically. And you can also heal from like a field when you hit enemies. It gets activated when you have like two stacks and then when it's activated you can just hit enemies and it's gonna heal the whole team so you're not gonna need to do anything really with lucha to get heals just use his ult when it's ready and that's it now for venturing he's gonna be able to give you shields from his skill so when you use your skill all of your party members are gonna gain a shield his ultimate just deals damage and gives you stacks when he has enough stacks that he gains from characters doing their follow-up attacks and also your ultimate as i said before he's gonna launch his own follow-up attack and deals damage that's it so he just gives you shields deals damage lucha he heals you that's the very simple quick idea all right, so we're just going to be listing their like good things pretty much um, one by one. And then eventually I'm going to tell you guys which ones should you go for. So starting off with Locha's, um, his first thing is that he heals a lot. He's an abundance character. He's going to be able to heal your characters and he's going to be providing big heals too. Um, if you're using Locha, usually all of your characters are going to be like full HP most of the time. So yeah, that's like his big thing. Now for Aventurine, on the other hand, he's going to be providing you with like super good shields and very big shields. He's not going to be able to heal you at all so your hp is not going to be increasing but the shield effect is going to be super good so you're pretty much not going to be losing any hp hopefully his shields can also stack to make them like very very stronger so he's definitely going to be able to sustain you with his shields no doubt on the other hand though we have lucha is going to be very skill point positive and i say very because aventurine is also like kind of skill point positive usually you just want to do like his skill once or twice and then the shield is going to last for three turns so he's technically skill point positive but you're gonna have to be using his skill too but with lucha is going to be like pretty much completely skill point positive like his just literally a skill point generator you're not really going to need to use his skill pretty much at all maybe in some scenarios but generally speaking usually you're not going to touch his skill he has like an automatic skill use every two turns and he's just going to heal the ally with the lowest hp also when you have um the full stacks his talent is going to provide you with like a thingy and when you hit enemies you're just going to automatically heal the whole team so just from his ultimate and then his automatic skill use usually you're going to have enough heals and you'll never need to use his skill like at all unless you'd want to cleanse like a specific character or something like that then sure but as like a general use like 99% of the times you're not gonna press lucha's skill so even though they're both skill point positive lucha is definitely way more skill point positive than aventurine that's a fact the second good thing about lucha is that he's gonna be able to cleanse so when you use your skill you can remove debuffs from allies which is super good and even necessary for like any good sustain that's gonna be a very necessary thing to have obviously lucha can have that and he can also do that with like the automatic skill use and that's gonna be pretty good aventurine on the other hand doesn't really have like a direct cleanse but he's gonna give all of your characters that are protected by shields effect resistance and it's gonna be quite a bit actually it's gonna be like 50 percent, i think or higher if you have like the talent upgraded and that's gonna be very very good so he might not be able to cleanse but he's gonna do the job by just preventing debuffs from happening in the first place which works now for other special things they both have um lucha has the enemy buff removal it's just that you can just straight up remove a buff from an enemy which is super like broken sometimes because some enemies rely on certain buffs to like be able to compete and lucha can just remove that so that's gonna be a super broken ability sometimes on the other hand the unusual thing about aventurine i would say is that he can deal damage which is kind of unusual for sustain but aventurine can deal damage and is also gonna have like very good synergy with follow-up attackers so these two are like both combined i would say those are like special things about aventurine um if you're using them in like a follow-up attack team you're gonna be able to build stacks very fast and then he's gonna be doing his own follow-up attacks and damage and it's kind of like considerable damage now his damage might not be like super consistent though because it depends on like how many stacks you get from the ultimate and stuff like that but generally speaking he's still gonna be able to deal like decent amounts of damage and especially like follow-up attack teams he's gonna be a super super good sustain from all of that i'm gonna compare their like team flexibility as a whole as a last thing that's a very interesting point in my opinion i see a lot of people saying lucha 
is going to be more flexible, which is kind of true to be honest, because you can just use him as a healer for any team. But the thing is, to be honest, I just think Loach's flexibility is just comes from that he cannot really do much in the first place. Because if you look at it from this angle, like, okay, Lucha can heal everyone, but also Aventuring can give shields to everyone pretty much. He's also going to be like kind of skill point positive and stuff like that. So he's also like kind of flexible in the same way Lucha is. So I don't really get the point. Um, Why people say Aventuring is kind of restricted is that he synergizes better with follow-up attackers, but that doesn't mean he doesn't synergize well with like other characters. Yes, his damage is going to be lacking a little bit and stuff like that, but he's still going to give them like the good shields, effects resistance and stuff like that. So it's not like Aventuring is not flexible. Lucha is going to be able to be used at 100% in more teams. Yes, I think that's true. But generally speaking, Aventuring is also flexible in my opinion. Might not be usable as like 100% in all teams, but as a sustain alone, he can definitely be used in like most teams. Just give them shields and you're done. So yeah, those are kind of like the pros of every character. So which one should you go for? Before we continue with that though, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's going to help me a lot. We're trying to reach 7k, so hit that subscribe button. I'm actually waiting for you to do it. Okay, are you done? Thank you so much. So obviously the answer is going to be it depends, but I'm just going to break it down very simply. To be honest, as a pure sustain, I prefer Lucha unless you have a follow-up attack team. If you have a follow-up attack team, Aventurine is just going to be miles better. So if you're having like the characters for that and you're like into that side of the game and you're building like follow-up attack teams and stuff like that, you have Topaz, Dr. Ratio, whatever. In that case, I'd say go Aventurine. It's definitely going to benefit you a lot. It's going to add like good amounts of damage and it's definitely going to be able to sustain you. So it's definitely a good piece to get for like follow-up attack teams and I'd say get them. In any other scenario, pretty much I'd say just get Locha if you really need a healer now. Now there are better options than Locha in my opinion as like pure healers like Ho Ho for example or even Fujuan is a better sustain but between the two I'd say just get Locha in general if you're not planning to use follow-up attackers. Okay to break it down simply if your DPSs are one of these then get Aventuring. Other than that if you really need to sustain now I'd say just go for Locha. Melee in general is most characters prefer just like heals over um shields i mean they're both gonna be able to sustain you either way in any team to be honest so it's not like the end of the world but in general i'd say heals are gonna be generally better than like shields also if you're using characters like destructions like Jing liu for example or whatever heals might be even a little more necessary because she's gonna be draining hp and stuff like that so shields might not do the full job so yeah the final conclusion is that they're better sustains than both of them to be honest like as i said fujuan ho ho or whatever i prefer for those in general but if you want to pick between these two in that case i'd say if you're building a follow-up attack team go aventuring any other case lucha is probably the better option so yeah that was the video guys if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video peace